welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do a recipe for you. Um, today's recipe is going to be the chocolate oat cakes that you used to get at school. Um, so they had like a chocolatey oat base with the chocolate icing on top. If you had these at your school, you'll definitely remember what they were. They were the best. Um, I think they used to be about 25p. Um, always get used to get a couple at break time. Um, if they also used to be called chocolate squares or chocolate oat triangles, I think at the school I used to work at. Um, but I'm not entirely sure that schools do them anymore. So anyway, I'm going to show you how you can make them at home. Okay, so the ingredients you will need are some flour, plain flour, cocoa powder and baking powder, um, butter or margarine, caster sugar or normal sugar should work too, um, and some oats. The first thing you want to do is set your um, oven and preheat your oven. So we're just going to turn that on. And we want it at 180 degrees, between 180 and 190 degrees. So I'm going to put it in the middle because mine's not a fan oven. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to melt together the butter and the sugar in a big pan. This is what you're going to mix um, all the ingredients up with, so make sure it is a nice big pan. Once it's nearly all melted, just turn off the heat or your gas on your stove and let it continue to melt with the residual heat. Once it's all melted, you're then going to want to start to add your dry ingredients. then just got an oven dish and use any sort of tray you've got um, and then I do line mine with a bit of paper um, and you just want to start spooning the mixture you then just want to put it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes Okay, so the timer is about to go off and they are nearly done. Um, I've just gone and done the icing for the top, so we're using um, some icing sugar and cocoa. Now this is a bit of a trial and error. Um, I think I used around 12 tablespoons of ice in sugar to one good tablespoon of cocoa. Um, and I do make mine quite runny because it's so much easier to spread. Um, and I do leave these overnight so it's got time to set. Um, but, so this is... You can make yours obviously thicker, there's a few lumps in there I would advise. <laughs> Maybe sifting the icing sugar, I didn't. Um, obviously if you want more icing, um, make more thicker icing, or if you want just a thin bit of icing, make less. This is obviously why they're no longer in schools. There's so much ice, uh, so much sugar that you use and so much butter, um, but they are tasty. Anyway, I'm going to have a check to see if these are done. Okay, so it's out of the oven now. Um, when you take it out of the oven, it will seem really like airy and spongy, um, but that is right. You just need to let it cool and it will go harder. Um, so don't prod it, poke at it much, or try and eat any right now. Um, what we'll do is I'll let that cool for 10 minutes. I'm then gonna put the icing um, on top while it's still warm. I'm then gonna let it completely cool outside um, the fridge, and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge to cool overnight. If you can, resist and don't eat them for at least four hours because um, they do taste better and they do taste better the next day. Sometimes we've still eaten them when they're still a bit warm um, and they just don't taste as good as, as if you leave them. So I'll come back in a few minutes when it's cooled down a little bit and we'll put the icing on. Okay, so it's been a few minutes now and it has gone a little bit harder. So it's hard enough for us to put the icing on now. So I'm just going to give that another and then hopefully we should just be able to pour the icing over. Right, I'm going to leave that to completely cool now and um, once it's cool on here I'm going to pop it in the fridge and then we'll see what it's like tomorrow. Just before we went to bed tonight, I thought I'd just check because it has been in for a few hours now and it has actually set. Um, I think I did do a little bit too much icing on this side. 
but um, we'll cut it up and see how it looks and we might even get to have a bit tonight. Okay, this is what I mean, I've just gone to cut it and um, the icing still is, needs to go a little bit harder so I'm going to pop it back in the dish and pop it back into the fridge ready overnight. But I have taken the edges off for us to eat now but um, otherwise that's all done. <laughs>